Um, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> um, we are going to record tonight's event. So anybody who can't be here live um, with us, um, we'll get that recording out to you tomorrow. It takes a bit to process and um, then we'll, and Laura can share that with you and you can watch it and ask any questions. Um, we can get some three-way chats going to ask any questions from there if you're not here live to do it. Um, so I just want to start by just asking Laura to just share a quick, a little two-minute story um, of how she came to know about Juice Plus and um, and why she's doing this um, for herself and her family. So do you just want to share real quick, Laura? Absolutely. So as you know, I was introduced to Juice Plus probably a year and a half or so ago, at least. And I, not that I don't trust Mel because I trust her with my life, but I'm just very skeptical of everything. So I've been doing my own research, um, which in Included talking to my kid's pediatrician, my doctor, um, some family members that are actually scientists and nurses, and just getting everyone's opinion um, on what they thought and knowing some of my health background and my family's. And I got yes, 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 absolutely, yes. And as I continued to get that, I said, you know what, I have to take this plunge. I have to do this because my health is not the greatest. Um, I have family members that have cancer. I have friends that have cancer. I have um, family members, as you know, my mom is, she's been in and out of the hospital with high blood pressure and those two stroke range. Um, and that's why she couldn't be on here this evening. So I want to, um, I took it to myself and I want all my friends and family and everyone to know how beneficial it is. And to be able to ask any questions and be introduced, because if you don't hear about it, you don't know, you don't know what you're missing and you don't know what can help you. Um, so I wanted, and I'm so grateful for everyone that's hosting this event for us this evening. That way everyone can at least hear about it and hopefully it can impact their lives as well. Um, my entire family is on it. Um, we got myself and Charlie and all six kids on it. And I can't wait to all the results that come from you know us starting this new health journey together and I want to be part of it with all my friends and family as well so hopefully tonight you guys can give a lot more information and help them you know guide their journey in this as well that's awesome yay I'm so excited for you so Laura and I have been friends for over a decade <laughs> so um for those of you who don't know me um, I'm Melody Loomis. My um, husband is a chiropractor and we've worked together for the last decade, but up until this year. Um, and now I am staying home and homeschooling. So I just run all the nutrition for the practice and do Juice Plus with um, friends as well. So I am beyond thrilled because um, Laura and I have been just we've known each other forever, you know? And so it's just one of those things where you, you have your best friends or you're like, I want to be able to talk to you every week. And so that's what we're doing. So, um, I'm excited and I'm going to share my screen here so we can get this presentation going. So let me just, um, go ahead and get going with that. I'm going to share my screen, put in slide Jamal, <clears throat> slide Jamal. All right. So if you're able to in the chat, um, just go ahead and type in what is good health to you? Um, because it means something different for everybody. And um, on our on the wall of our chiropractic office, we have our top three core values, and one of them is health. Um, it's health, hospitality, and humility. Sorry, my cats are all over the place. Um, but when we sat down to define health and what that meant to us um for our clinic and how we were going to communicate what good health was to our patients we realized that health we were good health to us was meeting patients where they were at with, with how they defined good health and so not everybody is going to define good health the same way not everybody's going to give up cigarettes or alcohol or fast food or sugar you know and some of us we just want to do a little bit better with what we have to work with and some of us want to be olympic athletes you know but as somewhere in that spectrum um I'm sure fall you and me and everyone else in between. And so I would just love to hear from you guys, what does health mean to you? Because we're going to talk a little bit about health tonight and, and how we all can do a little bit better to be healthier and be the, have the optimum version of ourselves. So one of the things that we all know, and while you guys are doing that or thinking through that or mulling over that, we know that eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables is going to lead to better health. 
Um, the USDA has said that we should fill half of our plate with fruits and vegetables at every meal. Obviously, this plate looks amazingly colorful and is missing meat in it. So clearly, the best diet that we can have for our bodies on a cellular level is a plant-based diet. And we know that nature can't be duplicated, that scientists have found that whole foods have really complex, naturally occurring vitamins and minerals in it and other chemicals called phytonutrients, that's called the micronutrition, that work together in synergy. And when you eat the rainbow of foods that is offered on this planet, you have the best health and the best impact from all of those chemicals working in synergy together on a cellular level. It makes those processes just go better. Um, the production of ATB, the balancing of hormones, just the lung function, heart function, all of that work together. Um, and we also have found, and scientists know that there's no way to replicate what nature provides in a synthetic vitamin or a supplement. So here's the bad news. The bad news is that in America, because of our sad diet, um, we are really, really unhealthy. <clears throat> and when it comes to chronic illness and disease, one in four people are gonna die of heart disease. It's the number one killer in America. One in two women and one in three men will develop cancer at some point in their lifetime. I think all of us know somebody or many people who have been impacted by cancer. One in three will have diabetes by 2050 and that's due to the amount of refined sugar in our diets. And one in five children is obese. And I wanna point out that's not overweight, that's actually obese, which is above overweight. So that's 20% of our children are actually obese. And Dr. David Katz said that children are more harmed by poor diet than by exposure to drugs, alcohol, and tobacco combined. So that's a pretty startling statistic. And you know, I don't want to put too much focus here because I knew Laura has a few friends that are being impacted by cancer at this point. Um, I just wanted to share this graph. You can see this bell curve that's happened over the last 15 years. And even though this is a year outdated, this was just the prediction of the number of cancer cases that were going up, 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 up since 2007. Um, and there is no cure, right? So they don't have a cure for cancer. But the good news is that same cancer society that puts out those startling negative statistics has actually ascertained that eating a diet rich in fruits and vegetables can prevent cancer and fight diseases like cancer. Um, so they've done a ton of independent studies on individual foods, particularly fruits and vegetables, that will decrease cancer risk by startling amounts. And in fact, Newsweek then, had then published an article at one point saying one to two pounds of raw broccoli eaten weekly has 20 to 50 times more anti-cancer capabilities than the cancer drug tamoxifen. So that's a pretty startling statistic. And that was published at Johns Hopkins back in 2004. Now, I don't know how many of you can eat one to two pounds of raw broccoli every week. I mean, if you buy the frozen bag at BJ's, you might be able to get to buy on a budget, but I'm not eating that without cooking it. And... Broccoli is expensive, and the problem is it's losing its nutrition before it ever gets to us. In fact, you can see that this is now 23 years ago, and it's only gotten worse with the way agriculture has gone, but broccoli could lose 50 to 80% of its key nutrients before it even reaches your refrigerator. Why is that? Well, that's because it's traveling thousands of miles, which means it has to be picked ages before it's ripe. Um, it's the soil is depleted of all of its nutrients because of all the pesticides, the roundup, the fungicides they're putting in it. It's so nutrient depleted um, that then they have to spray tons of other chemical fertilizers and things. They're injecting growth hormones, stimulants, and flavor enhancers, emulsifiers. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And so by the time it actually reaches your refrigerator, you don't have much nutrition left. <laughs> In it. And on top of that, we are being bombarded by environmental toxins. So you see things like pollutants and pesticides and um, skincare products that have hormone disruptors in it and plastics, which are terrible for the environment. We've got runoff from farms um, where we don't have proper stewardship of our, our soil and the waters and the sludge. And then you add in, that's not even on this slide, the electromagnetic radiation. And so there's just a constant bombardment on, on our bodies that we're putting on our bodies, we're putting in our bodies, and we're just being exposed to through the air um, of something called oxidative stress. And you've probably heard of this word before. And if you haven't, all you got to do is look at this picture and you can see what happens when you cut up into an apple, it starts to age. 
it's going to start to go brown. It's going to start to go rotten. Um, and that process is called oxidative stress. It's actually a very natural process that happens with cellular turnover in our body. But the good news is <clears throat> that antioxidants, things that we get from food like fruits and vegetables, actually protect against the aging process. So aging causes disease. We know that. And when we're bombarded with all of those things you saw in those last few slides, that's what's causing this influx of chronic disease and chronic illness and um, horrible things that are happening. It's just too much oxidative stress and then too little antioxidants to help combat the amount of oxidative stress our bodies are exposed to on a cellular level every single day. So uh, look at what happens on the right side of the apple though. You squeeze that lemon juice on it and it prevents it from going brown and wrinkly and it slows that process down. It's not going to, it's not going to delay it forever, but it will slow it down. And that's exactly what fruits and vegetables do in our diets, inside our bodies on a cell, cellular level. So that's why the news isn't that fruits and vegetables are good for you. It's that they're so good for you. They can save your life. And that was 20 years, 20 years ago that Time Magazine put that uh, article out and it is still holds true today. The problem is that we need so much more than we needed 50 to 100 years ago because of all those reasons, because we're picking bananas when they're green and it's traveling thousands of miles, um, that nine out of 10 Americans aren't getting enough because we need seven to 13 servings a day. A serving is the size of your fist. Who's eating that? Who's eating seven? The average I think is three. So the problem is we're getting an increase in environmental toxins, an increase in oxidative stress exposure. Even good things like exercise causes oxidative stress in the body. It's a very natural process. But we, when we have so many negative things and there's such an influx, it's like a, a tsunami hitting us of oxidative stress every day. And we don't have the things in place in our diet and our body to help combat that level of oxidative stress, which is why it's resulting in so much chronic disease and sickness. And the other problem is that when you go to the store, are you buying all of the rainbow of fruits and vegetables? I don't know about you, but I'm buying the same five to eight fruits and veggies every week. The ones I know my kids will eat, the ones I like the taste of, you know, I tried to branch out last week and I'm like, taught my son about radishes and I bought radishes and he's like this is disgusting and <laughs> they're bitter and I'm like okay here they are rotting um so I ended up putting them in bone broth you know so they didn't go bad so um it's hard to branch out and really eat the rainbow so what are Americans doing what do our doctors tell us to do Laura asked about this she's like yeah we're not getting enough we're never gonna we're, we don't eat healthy enough well what are we doing we're supplementing with a multivitamin and so 70% of Americans, it's probably even more now um, in the last 10 years, but they're, we're trying to fill in those gaps with multivitamins. So on the left-hand side, you see what scientists have figured out how to do is create it synthetically in a lab, recreate uh, a handful, about 13 or so vitamins and a, a few more minerals like copper and manganese and zinc and uh, you know all of these vitamins. But the problem is we already found out in the beginning that they already admitted that they cannot recreate what nature has, right? They cannot recreate the what plants provide. And so they have to put a ton more into it in hopes that some of it's gonna get absorbed on a cellular level. And so you've heard people say, oh, I don't want to pay for multivitamins. It's expensive pee. And yeah, it is in a lot of ways. In fact, my sister's associated with a, um, a particular company that claims it has the best bioavailability on their multivitamin in, in, uh, on the market, like in the world. And I read up on this one research study they had that showed it. And what they did was they had, a, they had their synthetic multivitamin compared to all these other ones that they tested against. And why is theirs more bioavailable? because they put a fruit and vegetable blend into their multivitamin. And so then of course, the fruits and vegetables are recognized by the cells. And so then more of their synthetic vitamins are then getting welcomed and introduced into the cells as well. Um, so it's like, wow, why couldn't you just go on all with the fruits and vegetables? So on the right-hand side, you see that this is the first, you cannot read this, but this is 400, that's all I could fit on the slide, of approximately 10,000 phytochemicals in one apple. One apple, 10,000, as opposed to about 13 to 20 vitamins and minerals in a multivitamin. So you see it, it, it doesn't even compare. So that's where Juice Plus kind of comes in. Juice Plus is a way to make one simple change and add 
phytochemicals from hundreds of thousands of phytochemicals from 30 different fruits, vegetables, berries, and then omega as well into your diet every single day. Whoops, I went the wrong way. So Juice Plus was designed 30 years ago. This is now our 31st year anniversary was 30 years in 2023. They was designed to help bridge the gap between what most of us are eating, what we're probably eating and what we should be eating and what we really do need to eat. So you might be asking, what is juice plus? What is it? Like, is it, is it a, is it a, something I have to juice? <laughs> you know, like I've had a lot of crazy questions. Um, and so juice plus is essentially it's, um, the nutrition from 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries, they're harvested at the peak of ripeness. So all their nutrition is intact. The produce is then pulverized. It's individually quick frozen pulverized. It's not juiced. So you're getting um, the entire food. They use every part of the plant that's edible. They get the skin from the oranges, the um, seeds, the core of the pineapple, the head of the pineapple, the seeds from the berries, like all of the parts that you wouldn't normally eat. Conquered grapes, um, I heard from one doctor in the community, 90% of the resveratrol from conquered grapes is in the stems. So juice plus puts the stems in there. So we're getting all of that resveratrol in these pet plant powders. There's no way you could duplicate it um, by just trying to eat more. But um, they then also, they put them in capsules, but they also put them in chewables. So that means that kids can take them. People who can't swallow pills can take them. And they're absolutely delicious. So there's three things that really set Juice Plus apart from any other product on the market. And this is where I go when people say, well, why should I take Juice Plus? Like why Juice Plus over anything else? Um, you know, or I take a multivitamin or I, I take these shakes I buy at GNC. Okay, that's fine. But Juice Plus is not a multivitamin. It is plant powders. We call it functional food. Um, it has a food label. The FDA said that, well, there's nothing synthetic in here. So you can put a food label on it. So when you look at it, you're not going to see all of those hundreds of percentages of the vitamins and minerals because you wouldn't analyze a bag of Brussels sprouts for how much vitamin C am I getting? Because nobody knows. Nobody knows exactly. We know it's rich in vitamin C, but we don't know exactly how much it's getting because it's not measured because it's not made in the lab because it was made in nature. And that's the exact same thing with Juice Plus. So you'll see a food label on it. Um, and you can just see here that it's checking all the boxes for any type of nutrition or diet you need. It's vegan, it's kosher, it's gluten, dairy-free. The second thing that sets it apart is that it's NSO certified. So you know that the supplement industry, most people know that's not regulated by the FDA like drugs are. And so we pay a third party company and it's the highest level of global certification in the world to come in and inspect the products and see. So after they do their own internal uh, quality control check, they then hand it off to a third party. And that NSF company is checking for banned substances, they're checking for mold, uh, residues, they're checking for um, heavy metals, they're checking for pesticides, anything that should not be in the product. And that's why there's no warning labels on the product, because you can feel confident that even when I was started giving it to my eight month old baby, when I took it the whole way through my pregnancy, it was safe. It's 100% safe. And I have that confidence because that label's on it. So if you're taking a multivitamin, you need to look and see, is it independently certified? If it's not, there is no guarantee that what's on that label is actually in the product. And the third thing that really sets Juice Plus apart is it's independently researched. It is the most researched brand name nutritional product in the world. If you ask Alexa, she will tell you it is the most independently researched nutritional product in the world. We have now 48 published cl clinical peer review studies, um, which Karen's going to talk about in a little bit. So just to recap, here's some of the key benefits, just kind of on a, on a, like, oh, what, what does it do? <laughs> Um, it's going to support lung health, brain health, cardiovascular health, um, healthy skin. It's got, we've got dental health studies. I mean, it is good for every cell in your body because there's no disease that we can suffer from that cannot be improved with better nutrition. And all juice plus is, is an excellent nutrition. That's concentrated nutrition. Um, and I didn't want to slide over this too much because sometimes people go, well, where does, where, where are the farms? Is it made in China? No, it's their family farms and they never travel far. So they're picked at the peak of ripeness. And instead of traveling thousands of miles to get processed, they're actually, um, they only have to travel usually less than five miles to the plants where they're immediately quick frozen. It's called IQF, which means they're flash frozen to lock in those nutrients. And then they're quickly dried and pulverized in like these room size Vitamixes and then they're dropped into the capsules or the chewables and then shipped right to you. And then the last product we talk about in that product line for, we talked about the 30 fruits, vegetables, and berries, but we also need healthy fats. 
So when Juice Plus said, well, what more could we do to add to this product line? Well, they realized that Americans eat too many seed oils and we don't have enough healthy fat. We need healthy fats to absorb the vitamins and minerals in our food. And so eating things like avocados and coconut oil and avocado oil and like all of those flaxseed, hemp seed, all of those healthy fats um, is what helps your body actually get the nutrients into the cell. And that's how you can use them. Otherwise you can use them. So we need more healthy fats in our diet. And we know that most people will take an omega-3 supplement, but Juice Plus said, well, we want to stay vegan. So they bypassed that fish, though there's no fishy burps or fishy taste. And they went to the algae that the fish eat, which is actually way more sustainable and way tastier. <laughs> so we have this delicious orange vanilla flavored omega capsule that is not just omega-3, but it's omega-3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. And it's from six different plant-based oils. Um, this is the only one that will have a supplement fact label on it because these types of omegas are actually titrated amounts from these oils. Um, and this also has research behind it. So Karen, I'm going to hand it over to you to talk about the research. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going to actually share my story really quickly because you guys are sitting kind of where I was sitting, except it was almost 20 years ago. So there was no zoom. It was in somebody's living room and I was listening to this presentation and I really didn't understand nutrition and health or disease. I didn't understand the connection. I was actually adopted. My birth mother had all kinds of health issues, including allergies and asthma, migraines, digestive issues. She ended up having cardiovascular issues later in life. Anyway, my adoptive mother was a nurse. So it was all about treatment. I got the best treatment in my entire life, but I was on all kinds of prescription medicines from a child through adulthood until I was, let's see, I watched this presentation and I was 35 years old, guys. So that's a long time to be sick. And what I was told by doctors is this is genetic. There's nothing you can do. So when you're told it's genetic and there's nothing you can do, you just eat for fun, right? You eat the standard American diet because it doesn't matter anyway. And so when I sat in the living room and somebody was talking um, and they weren't doing a slideshow, they were actually just talking about this and, and um, flipping pages on a thing. And it made it made sense to me a little bit, but it re really made sense to my mom, who was a nurse, and my dad. They're both like they were research geeks. So um, what was amazing is I happened to be pregnant at the time when I heard this information. And I think that's why I was open minded enough to give it a try. And I thought, all right, I'll give it a try during the pregnancy and we'll see what happens. It has now been over 19 and a half years since I've been on any medication, my allergy meds, my asthma meds. I don't get the um, allergy shots anymore. I haven't even been on antibiotics. So it's not that I don't get sick, but my immune system is so much stronger. You know, those things are immune. Um, Juice Plus helps with, and we kind of saw it with um, what Melody said before the, the research. Juice Plus has research showing it helps to support a healthy immune system. It um, helps cardiovascular research. Oh, you can just stay on there. I kind of jump all over the place with the research, guys. So you'll see this. Um, we have cardiovascular research. We have periodontal research. We have research with ovarian cancer survivors published in, um, you know done at MD Anderson Cancer Center. So you're going to see, look at the, the medical journals. If you're like me, none of those look familiar to you because that's not a part of my daily life. The medical journals didn't really, you know, impress me so much, but the actual research made sense and getting more fruits and vegetables made sense. But what's great is Juice Plus has gold standard research. Okay. So it's double blind, which means that one group is taking the Juice Plus while the other one isn't, and then they switch it. So we can tell you a little bit more about how the research is done. If you're, if that's something you're interested in. Um, go ahead and oh, so one of the things I will say with this slide is somebody at one of the doctors said one time that you're known by the company you keep. And we are published in um, one of the top, we're in published in some of the top medical journals for the different fields. So like the Journal of American College of Cardiology, that is like the cardiology journal for cardiologists. And Juice Plus, that's where the you know research study is done with the McDonald's. Um, so there's so much unbelievable research done with juice plus that you are not going to find with vitamins. You're just not going to find 99% of vitamins have zero research at all. The FDA does not regulate them. So um, you just want to be careful with what you're taking. Okay. Next slide. 
So this is, you know, this is another one by, you're known by the company you keep. We have been researched at leading universities, hospitals, and research centers across the world. Um, and there's some people who say, oh gosh, will you pay for your research? Guess what? So do pharmaceutical companies. You know, majority of companies, they have to pay for their own research because people are not going to do that. But guess what? We do have research, the research that was done at the um, MD Anderson Cancer Center with ovarian cancer survivors was actually paid for by your and my tax dollars uh, with the, oh my gosh, National Institute of Health. So that's pretty impressive that they're seeing that nutrition from fruits and vegetables can make a difference in the quality of life of people uh, with cancer. And I will mention with cancer, because I know that um, Laura said that she's got a couple of, you know, family members and friends. My mom, um, both of my parents passed away from cancer. So that is a very near and dear to my heart subject. I have done a lot of research with that. I actually did a cancer Zoom last year. So if anybody wants that, we had some great stories on that one. Um, but my mom, when she was diagnosed with AML, not only did her oncologist give her the, you know, yes, please continue to take your juice plus. We went to um, Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville for you know, a second opinion. And they were, they said, we cannot recommend juice plus, but we are so happy that you're taking that for it to help you with the nutrition while you're going through treatment. So that's huge. Like I just got chills thinking about that. When you get an amen from like the Mayo Clinic, you know that you're onto something good. So hopefully while I was chatting away, you guys were looking at this. I mean, Juice Plus positively impacts various heart, you know, health related areas. We have cognitive function, gut health. That's all Everybody is hearing about the microbiome now. Your microbiome is your second brain. If you do not have a healthy gut, you cannot be healthy. So we need to get our gut in check. We need to get our gut healthy again. And what's awesome is we have research with Juice Plus that it does help to get your gut a little bit healthier. Next slide. Okay, so years ago, the company did not want moms to choose between their health and their kids' health because it's what we do as a mom, right? If you only have so much money and you are looking at a product to purchase and you can only afford one, you're going to pick your child. So I love that the company said, you know what? No, we want to get the mom, we want to get the parents healthy as well as the kids. And they're going to be setting the example. So we have a Healthy Starts for Families program. For every adult that goes on Juice Plus, you can sponsor a child between the ages of four through 25 years old. And so if they get started at four years old, they can actually be taking it for 21 years, guys, for free. It's amazing. And look at some of the results. Kids are eating more fruits and vegetables. There's less doctor visits. Um, they're drinking more water. They're eating more fruits and vegetables. And it may seem simple. Some of us, like my kids, I did not have a problem with them eating fruits and vegetables, maybe because I took juice plus with both of my, as a prenatal for both of my pregnancies, really. So maybe that nutrition was in them and it kind of set them up for liking fruits and vegetables, but there's some parents who cannot get their kids to eat fruits and vegetables at all. And then after being on juice plus for a little bit, the kids are more willing to eat the apple and try. It sounds silly because they taste so good, right? Oh my gosh. They finally trying grapes. I've had parents that come to me and they're so excited that their kids are finally eating a fruit or a vegetable. Okay, so the shakes, oh my gosh. The shakes have been a staple in my diet since we started Juice Plus. This is what I drink every single day after a workout. And I will tell you that I started my kids on these. I remember my son at 10 months old, just clinging to my pant leg, you know, going, yake, yake. He loves these. This is the healthiest and easiest meal that we have in our family by far. My daughter has this every single morning before she goes to school. My son, his favorite is a go-to is the chocolate and um, the chocolate and peanut butter, which is my favorite one. But look at the ingredients in this. If you guys are drinking shakes, take a look at your shake, okay? Take a look at the shake, turn around the label. Does it say supplement facts? Does it say nutrition facts? Ours has a nutrition label. Look at the ingredients in your shake. A lot of them are whey-based, whey is a very cheap form of um, protein and it also causes inflammation. So you want to try and avoid that if you can go plant-based. The Juice Plus is vegan. It's made with non-GMO ingredients. It's gluten and dairy free. It's got protein. It's got the fiber. It's got, um, it's got the nutrition label that you need. It can be used as a meal replacement. We are going to be starting 
Uh, next Monday, January 8th, a shred program. We're calling it January Jumpstart. And what's awesome is this is a huge part of it because um, most people are drinking it once, at least maybe even twice a day. And that's giving them the nutrition, but it can be used as a meal replacement. So a lot of times people use it for their breakfast, but look at the ingredients in there. I like to laugh and say, okay, imagine taking all of those ingredients and putting them into a blender. It doesn't sound very good, but our shakes are amazing. I have people that try our shakes that don't like shakes and um, they end up loving them. So let's talk about soy for a quick minute. Um, if you want more information about soy, soy and corn are the two most genetically modified uh, foods in the planet. So a lot of times soy is getting a bad rap. Um, soy is one of the most incredible health foods. It's got the entire amino acid panel. Like it has all nine essential amino acids. And for girls, I'm so excited that my daughter has been drinking soy since she's less than a year old, because if you drink the right or eat even the right type of soy, you actually have less reoccurrence of breast cancer and it's just so healthy. Um, so we're happy to share soy information with you if you have any questions about that. The Juice Plus Perform, while the Complete really can be used as a meal replacement, the Perform, the function for the Perform really is for after a workout and for energy. So it also can be used for just getting more protein in. I am, I want to say probably 80, 90% vegan. So a lot of times I do feel like I struggle with enough protein, although that's a whole nother thing. I think a lot of people get way more protein than we actually need, but this is such an easy source for me to get some protein. But after I work out, this is awesome because it contains the B vitamins and tart cherries. It has um, several ingredients in here that help with muscle growth, muscle recovery, um, bone health, mental health and energy, which is great. I actually have a massage therapist on my team and she goes, goes, goes all day long. So she barely has time to really eat and she will shake up one of these and she's able to keep going. So the ingredients in this are fantastic. And it also gives you 25 grams of plant-based protein, which is very clean. So the bars, I'm not generally a bar person, guys, but I'm going to tell you where I keep these bars. I keep these bars in a little baggie in my car, and they are a lifesaver. Um, they are the complement to the Juice Plus Complete Shakes. So the ingredients in them are kind of similar with like quinoa and, and different sprouts and different nuts and things like that to keep you full. Um, I'm actually able to, if I'm driving around, what this does for me is it not only gives me some healthy nutrition, but it keeps me from stopping and getting unhealthy nutrition or grabbing the junk. It also, with some water, I can eat half of one of these bars and I'm fine. I can probably eat three chocolate chip bars of like maybe Quaker Oats granola bar and I've got to keep eating those because it doesn't fill me up. Your body is looking for nutrition. Your cells are looking for the nutrition. And when it gets it, it's, it kind of clicks and it goes, okay, you know, we got some good health, like we got some good nutrition, we're full. And that's what these bars can do. So I love to keep them in my car to, to save me. The tower garden, I don't know if you guys can hear my tower garden now, but I have an indoor tower garden and an outdoor tower garden. And um, I love being able to grow year round, even though I'm in Georgia and it was 27 degrees last night. I have an outdoor tower garden. I just cover it. Um, at night and I have a fish tank heater in there and it grows year round. So it is the easiest way to grow your own produce and organic. I joke around that it grows despite me because I have even let them run out of water and I just fill it up and it grows. It is just, it's amazing. So let's talk about Juice Plus because a lot of times people are used to seeing and getting really inexpensive vitamins from the store and even buy one, get one free or they're on sale and you kind of get what you pay for. We talked about, you know, Melody talked about what's in a vitamin compared to what's in Juice Plus and what's in fruits and vegetables. You know, you can't compare an average multivitamin that has maybe 10 or 15 ingredients to an apple that has 10,000 and Juice Plus is going to have thousands of phytonutrients in it. So Juice Plus is affordable. There's a lot of people out there that are paying for, you know, Starbucks. We're eating out um, on the run. We're buying things that can cost a couple dollars. Imagine being able to get nutrition from 30 different fruits, veggies, and berries every single day for only $2.67. So that's $80 a month. I think about what 
what I spend money on sometimes. And this is the wisest decision that we made 19 and a half years ago. Um, and you can kind of cut that in half because once you get a child on Juice Plus for free, and that can be either your child, it can be a niece or a nephew, it can be a grandchild, um, kind of cut that in half. So the Omegas, I absolutely love the Omegas. Melody, I love that she was mentioning that, you know, you need that fat to make some of those vitamins, um, bio, like, and your gut needs to be healthy with the fat for the vitamins to be absorbed, your vitamin A, D, E, and K. Um, the shakes, 253 per serving. The shakes, I, all of this really, I include in my um, grocery, I include it kind of like as my grocery budget. So the shakes for sure, because what you're doing is you're kind of just swapping out. So you would have eaten something anyway, and the shakes are just a healthier alternative, I guarantee to probably what you would have had. And then the complete shakes. So we invite you to join us. Um, what we hope that this message did tonight was we hope that you're going to at least leave here and try and strive to eat more uh, fruits and vegetables. Sorry, my tower garden light just went off. Hopefully you guys can see me. Um, we hope that you strive to eat more fruits and veggies because women are supposed to get nine every single day. Men are supposed to get 13, kids is seven. Um, and if you find it challenging to eat that many fruits and vegetables every single day, we hope that you're going to become a customer with us. We'd love to have customers um, to help you get healthy. I have been doing this again for 19 years, and I have customers that have been with me for 19 years because when you take it consistently and you see and you feel the difference, you're going to stick with it. Most people don't take vitamins consistently because they aren't feeling and they're not noticing a difference. So let's say that while you were sitting here, you thought of a few people, you thought of, oh my gosh, I have somebody, you know, a friend that has cancer. I have, you know, my dad has high blood pressure. We would love to have you join our team and be able to share the message of health and wellness as well, just like this. And you get, to, you just go talk to your family and friends and you tell them about your excitement about, oh my gosh, I found something so much better than vitamins. And I would love to share this with you. So that is what has kept me going year after year after year is being able to help so many of my family and friends and guys, even complete strangers. Like sometimes I see people, I've seen a, a mom at the grocery store with a kid with the green snotty nose and they're, you know, and you can just see that she's miserable and the child is miserable. And I go up and I'll say, you know, I don't even, I know you don't know me, but I can't help, but you know, I, I want to help you. And I share the information with them. So it's a great way to earn extra income. There's, I have team members who sometimes just share it. They join because they want to just share it with a couple of their family members and they want to be able to buy as many products as they can. And then I have team members who um, are trying to make a difference. They're trying to put their kids through uh, maybe private school. And then for me, I have actually been able to stay at home and I've been able to be homeroom mom for my kids. I've been able to go on field trips. I was able to take you know, be able to be with both of my parents when they unfortunately passed away. So this has been a business that has been able to keep me at home for the last, I have to think about this, 16 years, which is amazing. I never thought that, I thought I'd be working corporate America the rest of my life. So we are hoping that, um, again, at a minimum, we eat more fruits and vegetables. We'd love for you to become a customer. And then if you're interested in joining the team and learning more about that, we are happy to set up a separate uh, time to talk to you. So we are um, excited to answer any other questions. Do we want to stop the recording, Melody? Okay, let me stop the recording and we are going to answer questions. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. I know that Laura is going to be sending out this recording to other people. And um, if you have any questions, we are happy to, to follow up with you as well.